Good afternoon, it's a great Friday afternoon here at the Casey Auction Company, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough video of the jewelry that's in our auction on Monday night. A lot of interest, some really pretty pieces all the way throughout. Uh, a lot of rings, a lot of gemstones in this auction. We're going to do kind of a quick walkthrough. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and post them. I posted a link to the catalog in the description. I also posted a comment below. Uh, but there's some really nice rings. There's got a lot of good lapis pieces, like that ring right there. I always love multi, like that, that ring on the stand is silver and gold. A little onyx, some mabe pearls. Malachite's always one of my favorites. We have malachite, uh, lapis, jade, all kinds of good, you know, semi-precious stones, which you don't get very often, especially in this quantity. Love that uh, the diamond ring on the stand. There's 1.4 carat, nice piece. A lot of other nice, good gemstones. Uh, good looking Rolex watch in the box right there. Uh, it's my running, keeping time today. Nice little Ceylon sapphire is just looked at by a potential customer. Le'Veon information with it. The moonstone is nice. You know, we haven't had many moonstones at all in quite some time. A lot of people are excited about that. Some nice bracelets, like the, the the gold scarab bracelet, kind of a neat little Egyptian piece. Pretty diamond, kind of a halo tennis bracelet right there from Zales. Uh, I think it has a, a pre replacement value, it costs like $4,100, but a good looking bracelet. And there's a couple of rings. There's the ring that matches with the rounds. And there's another square halo ring, which is interesting and unusual as well. Quite a bit of Native American, including with the fetish there. Another fetish hanging back there on the, the, the torso. Some good bolo ties. A really nice um, squash blossom that came in late. Speaking of coming in late, where did they go? I want to make sure I get these shown. Yeah, so the earrings right there. Let's see if I can... Octopus arm all the way around. I can. 22 carats gold believe that they're rubies and emeralds obviously we did not have them checked they came in today it's friday uh, but you can see they're good size uh little seed pearls and again 22 karat gold there's about a thousand dollars worth of gold in them uh and of course as with everything else it is selling forever the high bid is at the end of the auction so and something else oh this big chunky turquoise necklace came in late too so there's a lot of interesting pieces. A lot of just gold, you know, big heavy 18 karat gold earrings there. Some more pearls. Some interesting costume jewelry as well. I'll get some more of that. Big lot of 14 karat gold earrings right there. Um, what else do we have that's fun in this case? Oh, these are cool. These little Victorian we call them snake bracelets. They're expansion expansion bracelets. They expand on the bottom though, um, but just really, really cute. Probably little garnets in there, a little aesthetic era. Uh, kind of fun. And there's a pair of those bracelets. Pretty cool. Uh, Ballast, Ballesteros, I believe. Brace, uh, clamper bracelets, some jade bracelet and jewelry pieces. Another Navajo piece. The Galleria Cano is an interesting set. Uh, they made high high end reproductions of pre Columbian art, which is kind of fun. Oh, I don't have these open. Let's see. I bet I can't. Oh, I got that one. I think it's Egyptian. Oh, it's not going to want to stay up. Let me show the other one here. But again, here's the uh, here's the Cartier watch. Cartier is running batteries, and this one is dead, so we don't know if it works or not. Uh, the Omega. Make sure, yeah, I said that earlier this afternoon. Yeah, the Omega is still keeping time. Let's go back to the uh, Rolex, see if I can see the face on that. Yep, they're both keeping time. I set them both over an hour ago today. So they're both running well and would do fine for you. This, I can get to it. Leave a hand prints all over everything. It's a neat little set. And... Yeah, I need to weigh this. This is all sterling silver and very heavy. 
They get the weight in that. But this Michaela's uh, Greek uh, is really good quality furniture, furniture, <laughs> jewelry. Um, it's a good looking set. Great little Navajo, I'm sure it's Navajo, you know, South, uh, Native American uh, buckle. More nice big bolo ties. And then there's some interesting costumes. There's a very, uh, I believe that piece is the Miriam piece, this little sterling piece right there. And then a fair amount of costume jewelry as well. Oh, also, yeah, the uh, the lapis with the 14 karat gold is out here. A little Tiffany group with, well, there's just a, the Tiffany ring here is so itty bitty tiny small. We put that with a little group of silver jewelry. Uh, but there's just some really good pieces all the way through. Some Russian lacquer pins. But you can see our cases are full uh, with just really good looking pieces all the way throughout. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have uh, jewelry that you're considering selling, let us know where you talk to us. We're always preparing for our next auctions and we sell a lot of jewelry every year. And then we also sell a bunch of art and you can see that we have the walls are starting to get really full for the art auction that's going online next week. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great weekend and we will see you guys and ladies next week at Pickup.